The sun was beginning to set over California, painting the sky in shades of gold and orange, when a crowd began to gather near a quiet suburban street. People had heard whispers, rumors really, that something extraordinary was about to happen. And they had no idea just how extraordinary it would be. Cars, trucks, even cyclists slowed down as they noticed a peculiar energy in the air, a buzz of anticipation, mixed with curiosity and disbelief. Phones were out, cameras ready, hearts racing. This wasn't just another car launch. This was history in the making. From the distance, a sleek, futuristic vehicle glided into view. Its design was unlike anything anyone had seen before. Smooth curves, metallic gleam, and a subtle hum that seemed to come from nowhere. But it wasn't the car's appearance that made people stop in their tracks, it was what it could do. The African innovators behind this marvel had promised something that sounded impossible, a self-charging electric vehicle. A car that could recharge itself while moving, without plugging into any charging station, without stopping, without draining a single battery from the grid. Skeptics scoffed, journalists were intrigued, and now, the public was about to witness it firsthand. As the vehicle approached, a hush fell over the crowd. Children pressed their faces against car windows, teenagers raised their phones high, influencers live-streamed every moment. Even seasoned engineers couldn't hide their excitement, their eyes wide as the car's dashboard displayed energy levels that defied traditional physics. The crowd watched as the vehicle accelerated smoothly, silently, and then without warning, it stopped in the middle of the street. The driver, a young woman from Africa with a confident smile, stepped out. She raised her hand, gesturing to the throng of people surrounding her. She didn't say much, her actions spoke louder than words ever could. A nearby journalist shouted questions, demanding explanations. How did this car work? How long could it run? Was it safe? She simply smiled and gestured toward the solar panels subtly integrated into the car's design, the regenerative energy systems humming softly under the chassis, and the compact kinetic energy units that captured movement and converted it into power. It was a combination of cutting-edge science and visionary engineering, something that had been rumored for years but never truly seen in action, until now. The crowd moved closer, forming a semicircle around the car. People could feel a kind of energy radiating from it, almost as if the air itself was charged with electricity. One by one, witnesses began to whisper among themselves, voices full of awe and disbelief. It's, it's real, someone muttered. I thought this was just a concept, a dream, but it's actually here. Phones captured shaky footage as the car began to move again, but this time, something remarkable happened. As it glided along the street, tiny lights on the dashboard indicated that its battery level wasn't dropping. In fact, it was slowly increasing. The crowd erupted. People shouted, laughed, some even cried. The impossible was happening right before their eyes. Local news crews scrambled to get closer, cameras trained on every angle. One reporter asked if anyone had ever seen anything like this in California. A veteran engineer nodded slowly, still trying to wrap his mind around the technology. This changes everything, he said. The way we think about transportation, energy, even urban planning, it's all going to be different now. Around them, social media exploded. Videos of the self-charging EV were shared thousands of times in minutes, trending across every platform. Memes, reactions, and debates ignited online as people speculated about the implications of this breakthrough. The young African driver climbed back into the car, starting it effortlessly with a soft touch. The hum grew louder, but still it wasn't intrusive, almost melodic, like a symphony of science and innovation. As she drove through the streets of California, passersby could only gape in amazement. Cars waiting at traffic lights began honking in applause. Strangers cheered, some waving, others filming every second. It was a spectacle, yes, but also a statement. The future was arriving, and it was faster, cleaner, and more brilliant than anyone had dared to imagine. Curious engineers and tech enthusiasts approached cautiously, asking questions, inspecting the vehicle, trying to peek under the hood. But the driver remained calm, explaining the basics without revealing every secret. She spoke of solar integration, kinetic energy recovery, and a unique energy management system developed in Africa. She spoke of years of research, trials, failures, and breakthroughs. Her voice carried a quiet pride, and the crowd could sense the determination and brilliance that had gone into this creation. It wasn't just a car, it was a symbol of ingenuity, of a continent taking the 
lead in technology that the world thought was impossible. As evening turned into night, the car's lights illuminated the street in a soft, futuristic glow. People stood in awe, taking in the moment, realizing that they were witnessing something historic. This wasn't just an invention, it was a revolution. Conversations erupted around them, people debating what this could mean for the auto industry, for energy consumption, for the planet. Could this technology replace gas stations? Could it make traditional batteries obsolete? Could it inspire other nations to rethink their approach to energy and mobility? Every question seemed valid, yet every answer felt as limitless as the imagination itself. Some skeptics remained, shaking their heads, unwilling to believe. But even they couldn't ignore the reality. The car had moved, powered itself, and continued to glide with no apparent external input. The proof was undeniable. Video footage, eyewitness accounts, and social media virality ensured that skepticism would fade under the weight of visible reality. In that moment, in that California street, the world had seen the future, an African innovation changing the narrative of global technology. By the end of the night, the crowd slowly dispersed, but the excitement lingered. People would talk about this day for years. They would tell their children, their friends, and their colleagues, I was there when it happened. I saw Africa's self-charging EV in California. And somewhere, under the stars, the young driver and her team would quietly celebrate. They knew that this was only the beginning. The car was more than a vehicle, it was proof that boundaries exist only until someone dares to break them. It was proof that ingenuity can come from anywhere, and that the world is ready to witness something truly extraordinary. California, a land known for innovation, had just witnessed the power of African creativity and engineering. And as the car disappeared into the night, its lights fading into the horizon, one thing was certain, the age of self-charging vehicles had arrived, and nothing would ever be the same again. The whispers would grow into conversations, the conversations into news stories, and the stories into a movement. A crowd in California had witnessed history, and the world would never forget it.